Have you ever experienced an inflammation or irritation in your abdomen? Ah! Gastritis is the major cause of inflammation or irritation, or erosion of the lining of the stomach. It can occur suddenly or gradually. The mucosal lining of the stomach normally protects it from the action of gastric acid. Gastric acid is secreted by the parietal cells located in the epithelial layer of stomach. By the way, if you haven't subscribed us yet, hit the subscribe button right now for more amazing videos like this, and click the bell icon and make sure you won't miss any updates. Gastritis can be caused by irritation due to excessive alcohol use, chronic vomiting, stress, or the use of certain medications, such as aspirin or other anti-inflammatory drugs. Due to any cause if this mucosal barrier, penetrated hydrochloric acid comes into contact with mucosa and cause damages to innermost structures like blood vessels. This may lead to manifest the signs and symptoms of gastritis. Symptoms of gastritis vary among individuals, and in many people there are no symptoms. The most common symptom of gastritis is upper abdominal pain. Pain can be aching, burning, or gnawing and pain will often radiate to the back. Other common symptoms include bloating and nausea. In cases of gastritis involving vomiting, the appearance of the vomit may be clear, yellow, or green. During chronic gastritis vomit may also contain blood. Other symptoms of severe gastritis include shortness of breath, chest pain, severe stomach pain, and foul-smelling bowel movements. Gastritis symptoms can escalate into more serious conditions. Stomach bleeding and ulcers can occur in people with gastritis who are yet to be treated. Chronic gastritis can sometimes increase the risk of developing stomach growths and tumors. Certain types of gastritis, including autoimmune atrophic gastritis and helicobacter pylori gastritis, can reduce the effectiveness of the body's ability to absorb iron from blood. In autoimmune atrophic gastritis, this can also affect vitamin B12 absorption. Both types can develop into pernicious anemia. Gastritis can increase the risk of other gastrointestinal conditions, such as stomach ulcers and cancer. The two main types of gastritis are erosive and non-erosive. Erosive gastritis wears down the stomach lining, and non-erosive gastritis causes change to the stomach lining. Smokers and people who regularly use pain medications are at risk of gastritis. People with gastritis should eat celery, apples, and honey. Herbal teas are also safe to drink. And should avoid caffeinated beverages, dairy produce, and spicy foods.